Then I could get another dandelion. Actually, I think I'm going to do just that. I'm going to put a wall up for you. And I'm going to put that up so the Is that all attacks directed at their allies? So I'm gonna damage myself, put up a wall on them, and I'm gonna tank all of the hits with the wall. I'm thinking with portals. Right. So you. Now, this is something fun. If you. There is another type of interactions in this game called the transmutation system. If you. If, uh, when I pulled back up that sheet, any of those squares that were yellow actually changes temporarily the typing of a creature. So if I hit something with fire typing, or hit something with plastic typing with fire, what happens when you burn plastic? It becomes toxic, and it will then become a poison type. Which then, depending on what you're doing, can have other type interactions. It's just... Oh, it's so cool. Record, basic tape, use on dandelion. Recording. What? Plant type are easily burned by fire type attacks and it deals a lasting damage. Burn characters take damage at the end of all of their turns. So that puts me up to a 63% for recording. I was really, really hoping uh, that that wall would have lasted longer. That actually screws up my chances a little bit. Yes! Got it. I got a big puppy! By which I mean big lion. Dandelions are loyal, defensive guard guardians. They are typically found standing at the entrances to important caves in the grassy plains of New World. If you find one with no cave nearby, it may be a hint that something's hidden. I don't sell. It's a very good uh, defensive based. Yes, it's a very good uh, defensive um, creature, monster, friend. It's a very defensive friend. And unfortunately, it was put in storage. Enough of that. Sonic Boom! Yeah, melting a plastic type with a fire ability releases non-switch fumes, turning it into a poison type. So nice. And unfortunately, it's a type interaction that we weren't able to see. Uh, but it's another interaction where if you attack something that's poison type with a metal, you then gain a poison coating, which basically, because you're a non-permeable metal surface, you basically dipped yourself in the enemy's poison and you can use it against their ally, or even them, for an attack, for an added damage buff. It's just so cool. There we go. <laughs> Tom and Arthur gained taunt. Wheat and wood. Wheat and wood. Wood and wheat. Okay, you felt that one too, right? There was something in that, in that wind. What? That was the first time I noticed that. I don't know how I feel about that. Um. Right, I'm gonna quick hop down and use. Oh, that didn't work. Just want to take a nap, quick. Please? Yes. Type storage. 
Huh. Now, dog ears, spit, sticky tongue, um, smack and defend. Actually, I'm going to not do that. I'm just going to rest. Move from inventory. There we go. It just feels very appropriate to, to go after this uh, under the cover of night. Come on. There we go. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Terribly sorry. Huh? Is this a train station? It should be okay to take a look around, right? I don't know. You're the one who's been in this place before. I'm new here. Why are you asking me? I feel like I should be able to do something here. Yes, which hopefully uh, won't uh, freeze up again. The place smells like burning metal. I can't explain it. Might have something to do with all the rusted out metal. Box. Metal Riff. Hits whole team becomes an air type attack when equipped to a metal. Ooh! I am actually going to immediately put that on Traffic Crab. Give him literally the widest type coverage uh, that we can get. Check tape, uh, edit stickers, apply sticker, metal riff, apply. Yeah, so since he is a metal type, that'll become an air ability when I use it. That is, huh. Oh, but yeah, now you get to see a uh, big spooky angel lady, Ray, since it buggered off the last time I tried. Great Codex, can you feel something in the air? I should just call myself Codex. It's so much quicker to say. <laughs> that was itchy. Is that you, Mordred? Come closer, child, so that I may see you one last time. This is... this is... The long conflict has drawn to an end. I am afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Great Codex, I think this is an Archangel. We need to leave, now. This isn't like the... <laughs> uh. Flowey, is that you? This isn't like the other monsters. We are not safe here. No, it's fair. That it, no. It's a valid uh, crack to make. No. No, you are not my kin. You come for me once again, sword in hand. Oh no. Oh no. Archangel Morgante, Broken Spirit. I love this song. Nope. Oh, thank God. Oh, much like in Golden Sun, so long as your turn hasn't ended, you can go back and alter what the first person did. Alright, um... Let's just use a smack, and you... Hmm. Let's see if we can get a call for help. Of course not. That'd be too easy. She missed. Thank God. Alright, let's see what this does. 
because I am curious. I spit on you. Oh. Ow. Unlike other monsters that spend AP to use moves, Archangels accumulate all of their AP until it reaches 10. Once an Archangel reaches 10 AP, it unleashes all that power at once, and it's a unique angelic attack. To survive, your move, to survive, use your move strategically to either set up a solid defense in preparation, or defeat the Archangel before it gets enough AP. Now, I believe it gains two per round, just like we do, so that's one, two, three rounds before it's able to use its big, uh, big fuck you ability, basically. Alright, let's pop up an Elemental Wall on Kaylee, and we are going to have you... Rewind your tape. Not gonna die here. Not like this. Do you hear me, Grey Cortex? This isn't the end for us. It can't be. I refuse. I refuse. We're gonna fight this thing and we're gonna do it together. Our hearts now act as one. Because it's Kingdom Hearts, baby! <laughs> I was not expecting that for its fusion. I feel a little bad, because at least... Uh... Banade looks cool. <laughs> this looks... Yeah, this is sad warm. When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you confuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. The closer you are to your to your, to your champion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. Keep an eye on your fusion meter, though. You can only use it. You can only fuse when it's full. Fusions gain four H AP each turn instead of two, allowing you to make use of your more powerful moves. I also have access to all of their tapes, and all of our stats are added together. And we are pretty much topped up here, so let's take a look at what we can do. Uh, we still have our wall up, which is nice. And we are going to... Let's go with an Inflame. Hmm. We get a bonus for that. Interesting. Oh, that's what that little sparkly does. Okay. I'm trying to go with that was. Yep. And we had a wall. So it didn't matter. Fuck you, Morgante. The same old story. Kaboom! Well, we gain shopping trick. Ooh, ran ooh, that's nice. Random debuff. I might take that off you and give it to someone else. That's also something fun about the whole sticker mechanic is I can use other monsters just to get their cool stickers. Fuse material, oil up. Sorry, olive up. Ugh. Who would want that? Who would ever want that? It's like everything bad about a dirty martini without, you know, the ability to get drunk. Fusion with fused material. Excellent. Well, uh... how did we? I don't fucking know. Yep, so now that we've defeated Morgante, our stamina increases, and we can glide for a couple more seconds. Oop. Yeah. I dropped my controller, and I can't go back to see what she said, but imagine... Spooky bullshit. I want a way off this island. I see. There is a way. There are none who know the path but I. I require a vessel, and you require a guide. 
Rebuild my strength, and I shall lead you from this land. Well. I'm a what now? Very well. Hear my song. Ooh, yay, now we're possessed. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. For a second, I thought that was an S. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. Whisper, whisper, whisper. <sighs> Good Codex, are you okay? What happened? You blacked out. You blanked out there for a for, uh, with the words. We should get out of here. No shit. Hmm. But it looked like... It, could I go on those tracks, actually? About the Archangel. Archangels. Archangels. Supposedly, when the first unlucky swords washed up on the shores of New World, they thought the monsters here were angels. And some of them wrote of other entities, too, greater than the other creatures that look and feel wrong. Logically, they called these other creatures Archangels, the highest ranking among the Order of Angels. Of course, when people learned that they could fight and defeat the regular monsters, they lost their angelic allure. Well... They've had a bunch of names over the years. Angel, demon, devil, ghoul. Now we just call them monsters. It's a good catch-all term. <sighs> Suck on that, monster energy. Those other creatures, though, like the one that we fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are. No one has really seen one for a long time. Looking at that thing we fought, it's hard to explain. It felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly, like trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm making some assumptions there. We're all from different worlds, after all. <laughs> you might not even know what movies are. <sighs> Phew. Okay, grand. I've been in a new world for three years, and I still not completely learned to adjust my cultural references when I talk to new folks. <laughs> oh, yeah. That. Fusion is a rare phenomenon known by the rangers. There are fused monsters in the wild, and supposedly the leader of the rangers can do it too. In the right circumstances, two, pe two people in monster form are able to unite and form one powerful being. I guess the right circumstances include, you know, nearly being killed by an archangel. It felt strange. In that moment, it was sharing a body with you, and the thing we became was both of us and not us at the same time. I... I've never fused with anyone before. It certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. It just kind of happened in the heat of the moment, right? Sorry. Sorry. Talking about it's a little awkward. Yeah. We'd be dead if we didn't. Except we weren't. Like, we were actually doing pretty okay there. Excuse me. Well, now that we've done it, it's this weird feeling inside me, like a door that's been opened that I didn't even know was there before. Like I said, it's Kingdom Hearts, baby. I feel like I'll be able to fuse with you again, if we ever need to. Hmm. So let me get this straight. That Archangel Morgante, her memory is inside you now? And she knows a way to leave New World? There's even a chance that this can lead to a way off this island and return people to their homes and their families. We owe it to everyone on New World to find out. You and I. She said it for me. What do you say? Are we in this together? Let's do it. Building relationships with your friends is really important. The strength of your relationships directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You can you can get closer to someone by completing their quest and by battling alongside them. When the time is right, you can take a breath, a break at a campfire, or in the cafe to level up your relationship. If an archangel gave you that vision, then we need to find another one, and you need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do. Locate Archangels to complete Morgante's song, and then follow the clues it contains to find your way home. <laughs> the Rangers have a training program that will help you become strong enough. Let's begin by getting you a meeting with the Ranger leader. She'll be at the outpost in the park right now. Big map. Oh, Pomblum has an additional AP bump. Interesting.
All right, Clements, I require goods Bonjour. and services. Gimme. Gimme. Au revoir. Au revoir. Foxley. Hey! Hi, ah, Yuri Lowenthal. Don't make me tell you again. Harbor Town won't fall to you bloodsuckers. So reasonable. And I know it's not, but that sounded a little bit like Matthew Mercer. <sighs> Call back to the darkness you came from, or you'll have to go through me. I've fought your kind before and won. Do you want a demonstration? We shall leave for now. But in time, you shall understand that we know what's best for all of you. Yeah. Nah. Th tell the rest of your kind that this town is protected by Eugene. Such such a battle cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just... Uh... Let me know if those creeps bother you again, man. And whatever you do, don't invite them into your house. That's what they want. Thank you. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for intervening, young man. Hey. I do too. I'm very curious. Like this after this conversation ends is when the when the demo ended. So this is uncharted territory for me as soon as I finish this conversation. No one belongs in this world. That's kind of the point, dear. <laughs> Meet up with them in the outskirts. Just prepare yourself for the throwdown. Things might get kind of ugly. We're free! have enough stuff. Cool. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. If you're here to sign up for the Rangers, you just missed Lanth. She'll be in the outpost in the park. If you go north to the outskirts, you can't miss it. Thank you, Wilma. people in this town go about monsters and cassette tapes. You'd think everyone was having fun here. Well, not me. I found all this monster business weird and uncomfortable. Why couldn't I be marooned somewhere more normal? Because that'd be easy. Ooh. It's an old book with strange words in it. Ah, literally just used it for pulp. Okay. Holy pulp! Hey. Hey, hold on to any tapes and storage that you don't need anymore? Next time you're taking a break from your travels, why not recycle one? At a cab site or in a cafe? Open your tape storage, select a tape you don't want, and then hit recycle. It's a good way to get some extra resources that you can trade with merchants. And it can net you some extra stickers from that monster's pool. Noted. Move Kaylee. Kaylee! 
Let me talk to the old lady. Hmm. Are you a recent arrival? I've been here for 20 years. Eventually, the novelty and strangeness of it all will just be a become part of everyday life. Why, I barely even think about the fact that I live on an island populated by giant monsters. Somehow I think you're fibbing, madam. You know. Call me crazy, but I think you might be fibbing. Now the question I have is, can I reach that box? I can. Box. Ooh, double. Yes. Wood and an extra tape. Excellent. <sighs> you know, I worked so hard to move out of my hometown. I really mean it. I was ready for the next part of my life, only to get stuck in another small town. I suppose this is just wait, what fate wanted for me, huh? Ow. Mm. Mm. There's no time to chat. Can I have an order of the pastries to finish preparing? Mm. Do you need wheat? Oh, look, a box. Hello, spooky madam. Welcome. Welcome, inquiring souls. Are you here to learn about the astral arts? What's the spooky floaty thing? Excellent. Excellent. You would be wise to heed my words. You see, beasts of the astral type draw their power from the four basic elements of nature, earth, fire, water, and air. An astral creature exposed to any of the, these four elements will become empowered. However, their internal harmony can be thrown into disarray by exposure to impure elements, plastic, poison, and metal. If you wish to take the form of an astral beast, remember this. What are you? I wish to interact with the big spooky thing. No, I guess I can't. Okay, I think that was just a glitch. The barrel's on top of our house. Ooh! Exclamation point. That was the point, dear. Gone to the cave in the park to find some inspiration. If I'm not back by noon, send help. Noted. Hey! Hey! I've been designing some new support stickers. Do you want to see what I've got? AP donate. Ooh! Focus. Change type. Metal wall. Mind metal. That could be useful. Uh, not overly enthused with either of those right now. Hmm. What type does that mean? Undertow. Oh, that could be fun. I'm, you know, I'm not going to buy that just yet. Um, but that is an intriguing option. Hey. Any chance you could lend a hand? You see, I told Lanth I'd put up a sign here. Something that would make the you know, place feel a little bit more cozy, you know? Oh. Only I'd miscalculated how much wood it would take. Any chance you could source me some spare wood? That'd be a real lifesaver. Thanks. 
300? Jesus Christ, man. That is not an insignificant amount of lumber. Oh, hello. Go away. I got stuck. You see, I just wanted to give you a chance to live. You forfeited that now. Goodbye. rude. Thankfully, it shouldn't be much of an issue for me. But still, not nice. One wood. Fantastic. One whole lumbers. Alright. Let's take a look at the map. Where am I going? Upper Town Station. Outskirts, Deadlands. Acting on your best behavior, landkeeper's office. I did have like 60 or so wood already on me. Location and water pipe. What does that mean? Move, child. Wait, can I fly into that? I'm about to try something very interesting or possibly very stupid. So, you know, par for the course for me. Nope. I actually probably could. I just let go. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Aww. I can't do anything with you. But that is a good thing to keep in mind. Just because I can't do something with you yet, doesn't mean I can't later. Now, I want to check something. Damn it. It looked like... I could possibly get down here. I can. Oh, I was hoping that would be something cool. Damn it. Like, that would be a perfect place to hide, like, a fun secret, because no one would ever think to come back here. I do dislike how when your stamina depletes you pause for a bit. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I mean it makes sense, but also no. Alright, now where am I going? Let's see. It it makes complete and utter sense. I just it's frustrating. How dare it make sense? Alright. Now, where do I wish to go? Come along, boys. Alright. Uh, oh, hi, Eugene. Hey! Hey! Glad you turned up. Are you ready to take on the forces of evil? Sure. Momentous! Momentous! Yeah. From that, the, the hair and the jacket. You are from the 80s, sir. Alright, you see that building over there? It's a stronghold. It's where those inhuman parasites form their dark plots to take over this world. Looks a bit plain, don't it? Looks can be deceiving, buddy. Their kind once plagued the world I came from, but we fought back. We won. Are, are you from an 80s vampire film? the roof. Huh. 
I unlocked Eugene. Yay? <laughs> I love him. I love him. <laughs> the clock's long claw limb gives it a unique advantage in ranged combat, as they're able to wield handheld machinery, weaponry, at a safe distance. This makes up for the fact that they're not very fast. Ooh. Ooh. Spring loaded. Edit stickers. Spring loaded status if they don't already have it. This turns users melee attack into a ranged attack. Hmm. Toy hammer hits one target. Smack hits one target for 30 versus 60. Let's give you double smack. There we go. Oh, I lost the ginger. Give, give, no, give me the ginger back. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I nabbed the window key from one of those ghouls while they were patrolling. I'm gonna drop right in there and flush him out. You ready? Born ready. I'm not, but let's see what this is doing. <laughs> 